so here's a preview uh, lower ball joint replacement um, same kind of ball joint uh, this it's a bad design that separates and you know the, the wheel flies off uh, first generation Tacoma and first generation Tundra so always go with OEM joints so right there you got the left and the right and all the torque specs right there so coming up shortly installation video so going over part number um, left side this is for a um, 04 Tundra so left side is OEM part number 43340 dash 39595 and the right side is 43330-39825 and torque specs um, lower ball joint to control arm nut 104, 103 foot pounds lower ball joint to steering knuckle bolts 59 foot pounds and tie rod ends to lower ball joint nuts 67 foot pounds so this is how you check um, the lower ball joints pry up And just try to shock the joint free. One in. Boats. Mm -hmm. 
and I just snug the bolts. Make sure that make sure the doll went in on the ball joint. Make sure it, it's laying flat with the the knuckle. And then torque them up. Ball joint. The lower is one or three foot pounds. joint 59 ball joint to steering knuckle and put the tie rod back in to to hold it so it doesn't turn when it turns the other side all done solid no play so this is kind of after the fact after i did it so i kind of know what tools so um 16 millimeter for the just for the puller um this one i just use for the i actually use them for the lower ball joint to pop them loose i couldn't fit it on the tire rod and it didn't have enough space so the tire rod i just i just hit it um i just hit the the ball joint or the um yeah the ball joint side and sh uh, shocked it loose and then uh, 17 this is for the the four bolts on the bottom 19 is the I believe that was the tie rod tie rod nut 24 millimeter for the lower ball joint on that that big one and cutting pliers to take out the cutter pins um, my trusty Milwaukee half inch impact I think breaks anything loose um, half inch um, ratchet I, I just used that for the um, the puller I, I didn't have enough room to fit the impact I, I didn't jack the truck high enough and then uh, just pliers um, I used the screwdriver to get the cotter pin out extensions the long pry bar to check the play in the ball joint half inch torque wrench and then 
you know, the BFH hammer, um, shock the joints loose. And yeah, that's it. Uh, and don't forget jack and jack stands. Make sure you use jack stands.